N95 respirators reduce the risk of exposure to airborne aerosol viruses like COVID-19. And when fitted properly, respirators work even better than masks to keep such infectious particles out. Particulate respirators like N95s work by removing contaminants from the air before you can inhale them. A properly fitted N95 respirator can be an effective way to minimize exposure to COVID-19 for healthcare workers and those who previously wore respirators as part of their job. Only use a NIOSH-approved N95 respirator when it meets OSHA's Respiratory Protection Standard requirements. An OSHA Respiratory Protection Program will include medical evaluations, training, and fit testing. Proper fit and an official NIOSH product approval is key to ensuring the best level of protection. These are the three factors you need to consider when using an N95 respirator effectively. You must put on and wear the respirator correctly during the exposure. The respirator must fit snugly against the user's face to ensure no gaps between the user's skin and the respirator seal. The respirator filter must capture more than 95% of the particles from the air that passes through it. Due to limited supplies, alternatives to N95 respirators manufactured and approved for use in other countries are available. It is important to note that there is a significant supply of KN95 masks circulating in the U.S. that are not approved by NIOSH for protective use as a respirator. Some signs to look for to determine if your respirator may be counterfeit. No markings anywhere on the filter. No approval number on the filter or headband. Ear loops instead of headbands. No NIOSH markings. NIOSH spelled incorrectly decorative fabric, like sequins, claims of approval for children. For the most up-to-date information on counterfeit respirators, visit the link below. While there can be multiple proper ways of putting on your PPE, only training and practice can ensure it always fits properly. Follow these six steps when putting on your N95 respirator. One, wash or sanitize your hands before putting your respirator on and off. Two, Secure the respirator straps at the crown of your head with the top strap, then at the base of your neck with the bottom strap. Three, be sure that the respirator extends under your chin. Four, if the respirator has a nose piece, fit it to your nose with both hands. Five, the face piece should cover your nose and mouth. Facial hair can interfere with the face seal, so be sure to shave before putting on your respirator. Six, be sure that you conduct a user seal check each time you put on your respirator. You need to take as much care when taking off your respirator as you do in putting it on. Follow these seven steps to remove your respirator properly. One, don't touch the front of the respirator. It could be contaminated with COVID-19 virus particles. Two, be sure to wash or sanitize your hands after removing your respirator. Three, while touching only the bottom strap, carefully bring it over your head. Four, next, grasp the top strap and carefully pull it over your head. Five, pull the respirator away from your face. Again, be sure not to touch the face piece. Six, be sure not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth when you remove your respirator. Seven, throw away your respirator. Lastly, remember, N95 respirators are for use in high-risk situations and by healthcare personnel for protection against airborne particles. You must wear them and take them off properly to ensure the maximum protection and to reduce your risk of infection.